Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Yesterday, BuzzFeed posted a cookie math problem which already has over 300,000 views. The quiz involved a series of pictures of cookies separated by mathematical operations. Your job was to count the number of cookies in each picture and then evaluate the corresponding mathematical expression. If you'd like to try the quiz, pause the video right now and you can click on the link in the video description to see how you do. For this video, I'm going to present the numerical equation which the quiz corresponds to. The quiz has the following answer choices. The problem, however, is that none of these answer choices are the correct answer for this mathematical expression. To understand why, we have to remember the order of operations. When you have a mathematical expression that involves different operations, there is a precedence to which you evaluate first. You want to evaluate things in parentheses brackets, then you will evaluate exponent orders, then you evaluate any multiplication and division, and finally any addition and subtraction. If you have operations of the same precedence, you want to evaluate that from left to right. In this expression, we do have a multiplication, 7 times 8. We need to evaluate this first. 7 times 8 is 56. The rest of the expression involves addition and subtraction, so we can evaluate this from left to right. 6 plus 12 is 18. 18 minus 3 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 minus 11 is 10. 10 plus 12 is 22. 22 minus 3 is 19. 19 minus 56 is negative 37. And finally, negative 37 plus 5 is equal to negative 32. And that's the correct answer to this expression. And you'll notice this is not amongst the answer choices. So what were they thinking when they made this quiz? Well, it appears that they wanted you to evaluate this expression from left to right. One way they could have specified this is they could have put parentheses before the multiplication so that we knew we should evaluate all the addition and subtraction first. An alternate way is there could have been an image of an equal sign after the 7 so that we knew to evaluate that first as a total result before multiplying by 8. Now we look at the order of operations differently. We want to evaluate the parentheses first, everything inside this expression. This all becomes 12. We then have 12 times 8. We have a multiplication, which we then do next. This is 96. And finally, we have the addition, which we can then do 96 plus 5 is equal to 101. And this is the correct answer choice according to the quiz. However, as I showed you in this video, that's not the correct answer choice of the mathematical expression as it was written. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.